On today's episode, Colossus 2 is coming, the Tesla-powered home is here, and there's something weird going on with the CyberCab. Elon Musk's XAI is building the world's largest supercomputer again. Hot off their recent merger with Elon's ex-social media platform, the rapidly growing artificial intelligence startup is already in need of significantly more computing power than their Colossus data center can provide. Colossus is less than one year old and stands as the most powerful AI training computer in the world with 200,000 NVIDIA GPU chips. It was used to create the latest version of Grok, Elon's uncensored and unhinged chatbot. But Elon wants Grok to be more than just another language model. He's racing to create the world's first artificial general intelligence, or AGI, a computer that can think, learn, and act in the same way as a human brain. AGI could even prove to be superior to human intelligence. So to accomplish that, XAI needs Colossus 2, an even bigger and more powerful supercomputer installation that would be home to 1 million GPU chips, five times more powerful than its younger brother. The value of those NVIDIA chips would also fall somewhere between $25 and $30 billion, almost equal in value to the entire X platform itself, but the capabilities that might be unlocked by this new supercomputer have potential to make XAI the most valuable company in the world, if Elon Musk is right. Here's what we know. XAI has purchased a 1 million square foot property in a suburb of Memphis, Tennessee. There's already a large building on site that will house the data center, and they also have a large piece of adjacent property that's going to become very important in the near future. Located right beside the Colossus 2 property is the TVA South Haven Combined Cycle Power Station. AI training is known to require massive amounts of electricity, so that's definitely not a coincidence. And we know that XAI has a unique plan that will leverage Tesla Energy products to take full advantage of that electrical power. XAI will deploy the world's largest Tesla Megapack site on the 100-acre property behind Colossus 2. These are essentially just huge batteries, and what they'll do is store up power from the grid during low consumption periods like the middle of the night, and then during peak demand when stress on the grid is the highest, XAI will draw their power from the megapacks instead of the local power grid. So that means energy from the local generator will still be available for Memphis residents when they need it most, and residential homes won't be competing against Colossus for electricity at times when the supply is short. Based on the size of the property, we can make a rough estimate that the Megapack site would hold about 900 of the battery storage units, which is about 3,600 megawatt hours of energy, or enough to power the 1 million GPU supercomputer for about 4 hours, all on its own. Elon Musk has said that XAI plans to complete this Colossus expansion by 2026, and that sounds ambitious, but the first phase of Colossus 1 was built in just about 4 months with 100,000 GPUs, then it doubled to 200,000 in the next three months. Now that the company has some practice at doing this and has built momentum, it's not crazy to think that they can go five times the size in double the time. One of the advantages that XAI will have going into the construction of Colossus 2 that they didn't really have before will be a huge pot of money to work with. Last December, XAI raised $6 billion through investor funding, but now, following their acquisition of the X platform, Elon is gearing up for a new money-raising effort that he believes will be far in excess of $6 billion. This is a neighborhood of Tesla-powered homes. This new, one-of-a-kind community in Houston, Texas is made up entirely of houses that are powered by the Tesla solar roof tiles and use Tesla Powerwall batteries to store their solar energy. Each house also comes with an integrated Tesla Level 2 EV charger. The developer, Utopia Homes, has reportedly been inundated with calls from people around the U.S. and even outside the country that are eager to buy the Tesla-powered homes. As of February this year, the median home price in Houston was about $330,000, while the larger version of the Tesla house is listed at $545,000 and the smaller ones are $524,000. Even with the relatively high price tag and the direct association with the Tesla brand, the homes have become very quickly sought-after properties. 
the real estate broker responsible for the properties, Jamie Fallon, told Realtor.com, We have honestly had no issues with Trump and Musk backlash. In fact, I had over 150 plus people at my broker's open. It was insane. People were very excited. Now, Texas is a Republican state when it comes to politics, so support for Musk would be expected, but they're also heavily invested in the oil and gas industry, so it's very interesting to see demand for solar power and sustainable energy crossover in the same market. Another important factor that would make these homes more appealing for anyone, regardless of their prejudice, would be opportunity for energy independence, and there are few places where this is more important than Texas. The agents selling the properties also told the media, who cares who is in office when you don't have power? Houston has had a huge issue with electricity because we're not on the national grid, so when we lose power, we are out for five days. Given that circumstance, it's very likely that the Tesla-powered home will pay for itself over time. We have some new photos from Joe Tetmeyer taken at the Gigafactory in Austin that appear to show a mysterious collection of unusual Gigacastings. These parts don't look like any known component in the Cybertruck or the Model Y, leading us to believe that they are pieces of the new Cybercab underbody. If you look closely at the white racks holding the casting, you can see the letters RTTX. Robotaxi Texas? Giga casting expert Luca Greco has analyzed the casting design based on Joe's photos, and here's what he's found. The casting is stripped down to the minimum and optimized for minimal material use. There is no wheel arch built into the casting, like what we've seen before with the Model Y rear end and the Cybertruck front end. This will reduce weight significantly, and the wheel arch structure can still be added on with a thinner, stamped sheet of metal or integrated into the side panel of the vehicle. The smaller and flatter design of the casting means that it can be made with a smaller Gigapress machine. It also allows the factory to store more castings on a single rack, 10 each instead of the typical 5 for the Model Y or 4 castings per rack with the Cybertruck. Here's also a rough illustration of how the new casting shape would fit into the body of the Cybercab vehicle. So, based on these images alone, it looks like Tesla is currently in the process of building somewhere in the neighborhood of 200 new Cybercabs. Elon Musk has said that he expects the company to build upwards of 2 million per year once production ramps up around the world, but in the meantime, we know that Tesla has a few of the completed vehicles operating around the Texas Gigafactory. Best estimates seem to be that there are at least five in the current fleet. And up until recently, the driverless cybercabs have always been flanked by chase vehicles with Tesla staff on board, but it looks like something has changed in recent days. Now, it could be possible that the FSD software installed on the cybercab has gotten so reliable that it can operate totally unsupervised, or it might be something else entirely. One thing that you might notice is the tint on the windows of the Cybercab has gotten even darker than before, pretty much jet black, drug dealer level window tint. So, is Tesla hiding something? Probably. In some of Joe's photos, when the sun catches the vehicle at just the right angle and you can still see inside through the windshield, what appears to be inside is a person sitting in a standard car seat, not the reclining robotaxi seat, and not driving the car with a steering wheel. Are we looking at a consumer variant of the Cybercab vehicle? Is this the long-anticipated 25k Tesla? Truthfully, I don't know what this is. Yeah, in theory, Tesla could put in a steering wheel on a Cybercab and sell it to people, but what do you think is the size of the market in the US for a two-door, two-seat, ultra-compact economy car? Who's buying that? Who asked for that? I don't know. So regardless of what exactly is going on here, Tesla is up to something new, and that's always great to see. Of course, this all hinges on the rollout of the first Tesla robotaxi fleet in Austin this June.